Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, Florence, this is a, a little video to show you how to get data into UCINet. So, here is the Excel file that you sent me. And it's got two tabs, relations and attributes, which makes sense. So we'll take the relations first. There's a single matrix of ties. It has values, twos, ones, and of course zeros. I'm going to press control A to highlight everything, control C to copy to the clipboard, and then I'm going to start and see how it. Right, you see in it. I need to change to the folder where your data are. There we go. I will now open the spreadsheet editor, the third from the left. And I'm pressing Control V to paste it in. There it is. I will save this as. Uh, we only have one network. I don't have to say what kind of tie it is, and shift or device, this network. And then I want to go back to your cell file and go to the other tab, which is attributes. And this last column here looks like it doesn't really make sense here. And let's press Control A. Yeah, okay. And then control C to copy it. Back to UCI net. I'm back to the spreadsheet editor. I'm going to clear it by pressing the new button here. And then I'm going to do control V to paste it in. So it's pasted in. I save this as not network, but attributes. So that's done. Now, um, at this point, the next thing that I did was to draw the network. There's actually a neat way to do it. You can go to the CLI, the command line interface, and type draw network. So it's going to read both files and draw a picture. But there we are. And uh, I haven't determined yet whether your data are symmetric or not. Let me uh, separate things. Right now we have this one little group over here, very separated from this other one. If I change the values of this parameter here, this says how far away to put separate groups. I make it a three, and that brings things a little bit closer. Um, now, are all the ties symmetric or go both ways? If they are, I might as well lose the arrows. I just take them off just to make the picture a little bit simpler. And um, let's see. Suppose I move this a little closer. Expand the picture a bit. Yeah, that's nice. So now what are the colors? Well, that depends on what the first attribute was in that file that we read in. Go under nodes over on the right. This is showing me the IDs. Ah, sex was the attribute. So uh, let's see. I can't tell from the names, of course, uh, who is what gender? Um, but presumably you can. What other attributes do we have? Well, we have age. Here's age. Um, a shortcut way of sizing the nodes by age would be to print, simply press the size button down below. So we can see that Girard here is very old. 
for age four. Now there's your four categories. What other attributes do you have? Well, I don't really know what they are. Um, but let me turn size off down here. I'm just going to unclick it. Otherwise, when I change to another attribute, it's going to resize automatically. Let's pick something like origins and do color. Okay. Well, I don't know what the data means, so I have to leave the analysis for you. Um, but that should give you some idea of how to get started. So I'm going to uh, stop this video. And where do I go? Stop recording.